everyone, RG with RG Fam Games here with a special video for you. Today, we've got some pickups. So, um, some of them are my pickups. Um, and then some of them um, were from my son, Jackson. Um, he's been in a couple of videos before. He's the one who got the Silent Hill uh, at a thrift store. Um, you know, one of those experiences... Uh, you know, I wish I could have her just walk into a thrift store and, and bam, there's a big game. Um, so anyway, um, my first pickup today, uh, this was from, I got this, obviously it's been a while for, uh, since I've had a video, biggest video. This is from a couple weeks ago. Uh, I was originally going to pick this up. Um, I was going to pick this up many times and then just hadn't. Um, I don't know why I was just waiting because I knew I, I guess it's a game that I knew I could always get. Uh, this is I uh, picked up um, from our spent friends uh, at Respawn Retro Gaming. Um, they had this, they've had this in their store for a while, and then they had it at uh, MGC in their booth. And I was going to come back and buy it from them, and then I got sidetracked by uh, the Uncharted Waters and stuff, and then I forgot to go back. Uh, but Tony was nice enough to uh, hold it for me, uh, so I got one of my favorite NES games of all time. And that is Baseball Stars. I'm working on getting the label off. But um, Baseball Stars for the NES, my favorite baseball game. Next to RBI Baseball, they're kind of together. But the great thing about Baseball Stars, it was the first baseball game where you could create your own league, set the schedule however you wanted to. Um, the teams are unforgettable. Um, you had the American Dreams, the Ghastly Ghosts, I think was the name of the team. Um, and they're all named after like horror movie, like zombies and whatever. Um, you had the Lovely Ladies, which is a female team. I mean, has there been a game since Baseball Stars that had an all-female baseball team? I don't know. Um, but it was awesome. And it's just... And the shame is... I remember when 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 the Neo Geo came out. I was see it's crazy expensive, crazy expensive now, and I saw that there was a Baseball Stars. Um, sadly, that's the arcade version. The arcade version is nothing like this version, and this version is the best. Uh, there's Baseball Stars Two. Baseball Stars Two is very good as well, um, but I love Baseball Stars. Best baseball game ever. Best best baseball game ever until you, like MLB the Show comes out probably. Um, okay, maybe there's some 16 game, big games that are better, but um, on the NES, best baseball game. Highly recommend you check it out. Um, you can save your seasons. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. Uh, then this game um, you have seen before in the our last video games monthly uh, video uh, that we did on un unboxing um, in Charlie and Tony's box. They pulled a Miracle Warriors, and Tony was nice enough to, to pass it along to me. This is one of my favorite RPGs of all time uh, for the Master System. I can't believe he pulled it out of a VGM box. I mean, it's a little dinged up and everything, uh, but this was the first um, RPG that I've ever owned. First one ever. Um, so I have very, very fond memories. I never had Dragon Warrior growing up, but I had Miracle Warriors. So... So cool to add this collection. Gonna have to find a case and a manual to make this complete someday. But um, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Charlie. Um, really means a lot. Thank you, guys. And now, those are my only pickups. I haven't um, been out getting any games lately. Um, just busy with the holidays and band stuff. And um, it's just been a busy time of the year. Changed jobs recently, a couple weeks ago. So, haven't been out in the wild hunting games. Um, but today, um, Jackson went to another thrift store somewhere on the south side of Milwaukee, um, similar to when he came back with Silent Hill, and he came back with three games that I'm still, I'm still in shock. So, um, he paid $2.88 for each one of these three games. First game. Uh, 
the greatest hits version of Chrono Cross. It is complete in box. It's great shape, beautiful. Verify the price sticker. See, two dollars eighty-eight cents for Chrono Cross. So this version goes for about twenty bucks. Um, so really, really great find, right? Great find. It's awesome. I was like, oh my god, we got Chrono Cross. It's so cool, so cool. And then he goes, but wait, I got another one. You got another one? He said, yes. He made me close my eyes and hold out my hand. And then he pulls out this. Your original Final Fantasy VII. Again, $2.88. It is complete with the... Oh, it's missing. Is it missing the front page of the instructions? Is it missing a cover page? Maybe it is. Um, it says page one, but it, yeah, it might be a cover page that's missing there. Um, and then the disc. So yeah, actually, let me know. This is probably missing, right? Is that what the first page of the, or is there, is there a cover page to this? Am I missing a page? And then this is the, is there a, a front and page missing? So maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I'm missing something there. But anyway, Final Fantasy VII, one of the greatest RPGs ever. Um, this one sells, I think it's about 30 bucks or so. So pretty good for $2.88. Um, and it's like, oh my gosh, like, again, I was super, super happy with the Chrono Cross. And then, you know, couldn't believe that. Why is this not closing? Um, because it's not in the right thing. There we go. Um, so I thought, psh, I mean, the Chrono Cross was enough. And the Final Fantasy VII, that was even cooler, but it's like, wow, that's that's a hell of a find at a St. Vinny's. And then, Brave Fencer Mus Musashi. Um, $2.88. St. Vincent de Paul is complete. It's got the Final Fantasy VIII uh, demo disc in there. There you go. This is selling for about $120. And he got it for $2.88 at a thrift store. Uh, how, how does this happen? I, I've, I've never... I guess I'm going to the, to, to the wrong thrift stores. I guess I need to go to the ones in the city because that is absolutely crazy. So he got these three games he got for less than $10. Can you believe that? I am absolutely beside myself. I don't even know what to say. It's the craziest, craziest thing. Um, and I, I thought he would never top thought he would never top finding that silent hill and wow what a find uh, i'm speechless it's i want to be the guy i mean I'm, I'm i'm glad i got him right i'm glad that we're adding him into the collection but i want to be the one to go in and be the like oh my gosh you know um anyway so very proud of him he's become quite the hunter um, he has no idea what he's getting when he gets it. He just like, oh, it's a old PlayStation game and it's the double. So, you know, he's like, oh, this must be worth something. But he has no idea what they are. <laughs> when I told him how much the Brave Fencer was, uh, he was shocked. Uh, he was jumping up and down. He was so excited. So, um, yeah, so that's my pickups um, f as of late. Um, I don't think I'll have any more pickups and probably till after Christmas. Um, I'm still just, I'm kind of floored. I just had to make sure I got this video out because to document that it happened. Um, I'm still, I mean, this, is all, this all happened kind of within the last hour or so. He just came in the door and he goes, close your eyes. I'm going to show you something and hands them to me one at a time. And so anyway, it's a good time. Uh, let me know what you think of these games. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know your memories. Um, I played Final Fantasy VII before. Haven't beaten it yet. It's on my list of games. Really? No, hold on, dude. Really? Maybe we can just, just, 
I got these. Okay, but this is better than, than those. Well, you don't even know yet because you haven't tried them. I have to try one? Yeah, I mean, you show the. Show the. Like, you know, mic in. We're doing a taste test of, of Hostess strawberry cheesecake. Just like a strawberry cheesecake. Yeah, I would say like, what would you say on a scale of one? Strawberry cheesecake. I mean, would you buy it? No. My question. Well, there's your answer, no. folks. <laughs> Not that it's bad, but I would eat my donuts that taste like strawberry cheesecake. No, you don't think so? Yeah. I thought big strawberry guy, maybe no. Oh. I love strawberry. I love cheesecake, but not in my in my donuts. Nah. Sorry. Nah, I try it. Wow. I guess he bought donuts today too while he was out. Out and about. So there you go. That's the video. Thanks for watching. See you next episode. Bye.